In this video, I'll be doing a brief summary of Mendelian genetics. In class, you learned about Mendel's three postulates, unit factors and pairs, dominance and recessiveness, and random segregation. Unit factors and pairs is just basically saying that for any given specific feature, there are two alleles. So that's just the basic, we see AA or like AA, whatever. We always see pairs. We never see just an A. We never see like three alleles. It's always two. There are rare exceptions which are typically unnatural where we do see exceptions to this rule. But in general, we have unit factors that come in pairs. The second postulate was dominance and recessiveness. And that's just saying that when we have these two alleles, typically one strain of an allele is dominant respect to the other. So let's say that I have some trait that determines hair color. Capital A could represent black hair, and lowercase a could represent brown hair. I'm not sure what the actual information is, but either way, that means that if I have two of the black hairs, two dominant, or if I have two of this capital A allele, I will have black hair. If I have a capital and a lowercase, I'll still have black hair because this dominant allele is going to overshadow the recessive one. And the only case when I'll have brown hair is if I have two of the recessive allele because then there's nothing to overshadow it. So that's the concept of dominance and recessiveness is that if we have a dominant and a recessive allele, one, the dominant one, would overshadow the other, the recessive. Again, just like unit factors and pairs, there are exceptions to this that you'll learn in class, such as incomplete dominance, uh, yeah, lots of other stuff that you can learn. But in general, just know that one dominant, one recessive. Or you could have a pair, but yeah. Either way. So random segregation just says that when, an, uh, when a certain individual reproduces, that individual has an equal chance of giving off either one of its two alleles. So we know that through meiosis, we, we end up with gametes that have only one of each chromosome. And then when one gamete from the mother and one gamete from the father join, then we get that complete dual chromosomal cell. So let's say I have a parent that has this genotype, big A, little a. That's saying that one of its chromosomes has the big A allele and the other chromosome has the little a allele. And random segregation is saying that when this individual creates a gamete, there's an equal chance of the dominant or the recessive, or if we're doing big A, big A, there's an equal chance of either one of its alleles, just 50% chance, that either one would get passed down. So if I crossed a homozygous dominant with a heterozygous parent, the offspring has a 50% chance of being heterozygous. This parent has a 100% chance of uh, passing on the dominant allele, right? We have 50% chance of passing a capital A and a 50% chance of also passing a capital A. So 100% chance that it'll get a capital A from this parent. This parent has a 50% chance of giving capital A and a 50% chance of giving lowercase a. So the offspring would have overall a 50% chance of being heterozygous, just because both parents have an equal probability of giving off either one of their alleles. Uh, there's not much to Mendelian genetics when we're at this basic level. Uh, it's when you learn the exceptions to these rules that it gets a little more messy.